Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another exciting update in my Pandas Eyeshadows Project Pan. This update is exciting because I've hit a pan on an eyeshadow that I've been working on since the beginning of the year. So super excited to have hit that pan and super excited to share my update with all of you today. I will be doing a look with all five eyeshadows that are in this project at the end. I know I haven't done that in the last couple videos, but I'm getting back on track with doing those, so you'll be able to see that at the end of this video. But before we jump into that, let's quickly do a recap about how this project works. We'll talk about my numbers, I have my spreadsheet up right in front of me, then we'll go through the eyeshadows that are still in this project, and since I did hit pan, we will select a new one to work on, which is always a super fun. So at the beginning of the year, I selected five eyeshadows randomly from my collection. I have all eyeshadows in my collection in, on a spreadsheet in front of me. And so I just used a random app to select five eyeshadows to work on. And my goal for those eyeshadows is to use them and work on them until I hit pan. And then at that point, I get to roll it out and select a new one. So it's like a rolling style project pan. I do have like one out or give myself an out. And that is if I use an eyeshadow for at least 20 times and decide that like I don't think I'm ever gonna hit pan or I don't really enjoy using it, I can roll it out. I've only done that with one eyeshadow this year so far. Otherwise, all my other rollouts have been due to hitting pan and that is the case for today's rollouts. Like I mentioned, I have a spreadsheet in front of me and what I like to do is track my numbers and so I like to share them at the beginning of each video because I think they're interesting and because I hit pan this month, my pan percentage went up. My goal for this year is to hit 15%. And we are slowly getting there, so hoping that we can get there before the end of the year. So I still have 212 eyeshadows, 14 of those are single shadows, 198 of them are still across 11 different palettes. But my pans went up to 26 pans, so my pan percentage went from 11.79% to 12.26%. So super excited about that increase in pan percentage. And that leaves me with 185 eligible eyeshadows to roll in to replace the one that I'm rolling out. So with all of that being said, I'm going to pull out my notebook, which I forgot to grab, to let you know how many times I used each one of these shadows. I will say I really, I really focused in on one shadow because I wanted to hit pan on it, and then I used my other eyeshadows quite sparingly. So I will save that one for last, but I used three shadows only twice. So not great on those, but that is because I, I really wanted to hit pan on a different one. The three shadows that I only used twice, the first one is this Bitten eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. I do really enjoy this eyeshadow. I'm actually really excited that it's gonna be in this project because I think it's gonna be a great one to work on for fall. And I feel like the dip on it is continuing to grow even though I only used it twice. I think we're like slowly but steadily getting there. So happy to have this in this project. I'm actually wearing it today in my outer corner and I do really enjoy this shadow. I just, like I said, was focusing on other things. The next shadow that I only hit two uses on is this one. This is from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Volume 2 palette. It's this shadow called Good Place. This one I think is one that next month I'm really gonna hone in on and try and use perhaps hitting pan, I don't know. But I definitely set my sights on hitting pan in one of my eyeshadows this month and it worked out for me. So I kind of feel like I wanna do that with Good Place over the next month or so. So maybe this one will be one that I hit pan on soon. But this one, I mean, it's just a beautiful purple shade. Also wearing this today, I'm wearing this on the inner half of my lid, but I like wearing this with this one. And really, like I feel like it's pretty versatile and it's been it's been fun to play with. And then the other shadow that I only hit two uses on comes from Kathleen Light's Disco Fox Palette. It is the shade Dream On, beautiful purple shade. I really enjoy using this one as well. I really like pairing it with Good Place. I think they go really well together and so that's like a fun pairing. So I think I might focus a little bit there this month, but really pretty. I mean, these three shades are gorgeous, so don't let my lack of use this month make you feel like I don't love them. I do. I just, I don't wear makeup every day. I wear makeup probably like three days a week. And so you'll see when I share my numbers from my other ones that it, it might make sense as to why these were all so low. The next shade comes from my So Jaded Kathleen Lights ColourPop palette and it is the shade Geodude, 
which I feel like we're finally starting to see a dip. I have used this one several times compared to a lot of my other shadows, but these pans I feel like are really hard and so it takes a while to use them. But I use this as my crease shade this month and I just really enjoy using it as my crease shade and also I apply it to my lower lash line a lot. That's how I'm wearing it today. And I feel like the dip is actually finally starting to grow. I'm excited that you can actually see a dip in here. I don't know how long it will take us to hit pan on this one, but just the fact that we're like finally seeing progress after using it so many times is very, very exciting. All right, and then the moment you all have been waiting for, the shade that I finally hit pan on comes from my Jaclyn Hill Morphe Volume 1 palette, and it is the shade Diva. Like I said, I've been working on this one since January. I definitely devoted a lot more focus to it this month. I used it eight times to hit pan, which is way more than I've used it in the past several months. I just kind of got really determined to wanting to hit pan on this one and I was seeing progress and I was like, let's just keep going and so I did and I was able to hit pan on it yesterday. So super excited about that. I've used it 32 times total in this project to hit pan. So in the scheme of things, 32 times doesn't seem like a lot, but obviously it took me a really long time to get there because I just haven't focused on it like I have this month. And now this palette has one, two, three, four pans in it. So really excited to continue to see good usage on this palette and I do really enjoy it. I feel like it's a great palette even though it's one of the older ones in my collection. So happy to have another pan in there and happy to roll this one out of this project. I'm really excited about that. Now that we've kind of gone through what's staying in this project, what's rolling out, we're getting to probably one of the more exciting parts of this video, my favorite part of these videos, and that is selecting a new shade to roll in. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my pretty random map and then we will do that. The shade I got is 43. Funnily enough, we are heading right back to the palette we just rolled out. And the shade that we're rolling in is this second shade right here called Beam. But to be honest, I'm actually quite happy with this one because I think this is going to be an easy one to use. It's going to be easy to put all over the lid. It's gonna be easy to put in my inner corner. It could be one to highlight the brow bone. So as much as I'm like, eh, about rolling the same palette right back in, I am I think that we can hit a pan on this one, hopefully pretty quickly. So I'm not too bummed about that roll in. That is it, these are the five shades in my project. I think this is a super wearable, easy to pair all together quintet. Like I don't think I'm gonna have much trouble tomorrow putting all five of these on my eyes, which I'm excited about, because sometimes it can be more challenging than others. This is where we are landing for today, and then in the next clip, I will be applying all five of these to my lids. So, talk to you in a second. All right, I am back, ready to apply these eyeshadows. So I'm going to start, no surprise here, with my So Jaded palette, palette <laughs> and Geodude, and I'm gonna put this in my crease. Next, I am going to pick up Good Place, and I think I'm just going to put this in my outer corner, like the very outer corner of my eye. Okay, so I placed that in the outer corner, and then I spent a little bit just blending it out, diffusing it a little bit. And now, the star of this look, I think, is going to come from my Disco Fox palette, and it's going to be the shade Dream On. And I am just gonna pick this one up with my finger so that it applies the best. And I think I'm going to lay this, I was definitely obviously gonna lay it on the bare part of my lid, but I think I might place it on top of Good Place too. Such a pretty color, I'm obsessed with that one. All right, going back in with my blending brush, I'm just kind of working all three of those shades together. So for the lower lash line, I am going to grab Bitten, because I'm not really sure what else to do with it. And so lower lash line is always a good option for something like this. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of Bitten, and I'm, I'm gonna focus this mostly on the outer edge because I think I wanna pull Dream On a little bit. 
down into the lower lash line as well. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of Dream On and just kind of put that in the inner half of my lash line and then blend it into Bitten. Okay, and then for my newest shade, I'm going to use it exactly like I thought I would use it as. And it's this shade right here called Beam. I'm just gonna grab that and I'm going to put that in my inner corner, but I'm also gonna drag it up a little bit onto the inner corner of my lid. All right, this is all five eyeshadows on my eyes. I had a feeling that this would be an easy one, an easy look to put together because all of the eyeshadows just go so well together. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be back on at the end for the final look. So this is the final look that we are landing on. I really enjoyed using all five shades today. I, like I said earlier, I thought it was super easy. Even yesterday when I like swatched them all on my hand during that part of the video, I was like, I don't think this is gonna be hard to put together a look. And it really wasn't. I think they all go really well together. And I'm super happy with my quintet. I am definitely going to focus on a couple shades this month, hopefully hit another pan, so we shall see. But I hope all of you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed getting to see the look at the end. I know I've seen several comments of people saying that they were missing them from my last few videos. So I definitely saw those comments and wanted to make sure to give you the look if you enjoy that part of the video. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.